Every time a supply chain breaks, it's a critique of globalization. The problem is that we've spent a century at this point optimizing for efficiencies and sort of cost savings, and now we're paying for it in fragility. The challenge now, as I see it, is well, we can't go back to what we used to do, although a lot of companies are choosing to do that, which is more just in case. In, so you have sort of just in time inventory versus just in case inventory. And then just in case, you basically just stock everything. So now you have lots of carry on your books. That's really bad for the environment because a lot of that, those spare parts never get used. From a financial point of view as well, now you've added a lot of risk to your ledger. And then you just have just in time, right? Which is what we've been optimizing for for the last century, essentially, which is you get exactly what you need when and where you need it using a incredibly complex global supply chain. In Europe right now, there's a lot of talk about bringing manufacturing back to Europe. But from our perspective, we're not trying to create these big giga factories. I'm sure there'll be some of those as well. But in the future, factories won't necessarily be big. They'll be everywhere. And so you're not trying to have parts that cross the oceans. They're crossing the street instead. And, and this is really like the key, right, is when you're trying to create some sort of new adoption, these crises are a real potential momentum elements. 